Handicapper Steve here, handicapping the racing from Goldstream Park here on Saturday. It is October the 1st, 2016. Good luck at the stakes races on today's card, and let me tell you, there's a lot of them. Uh, the races I'll be looking at are races 2, 3, 5, 6, 7, 10, 11, 12. So those are races 2, 3, 5, 6, 7, 10, 11, 12. Don't know why they couldn't put them back to back to back. I don't know why. But uh, remember to please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kid 5 for more selections. So let's get on to it. Starting off for race number two, it's the Florida Sire Meadow Star Stakes. Uh, second running of this race, per hundred fifty thousand dollars for Phillies three year olds that are fire f uh, Florida Sire breads, whatever Florida Sire Stakes horses. Traveling a mile here, and my top selection here. We'll go to the four horse. Here in race two, number four, who was Ballet Diva, eight five, eight to five, Edgar Saez from Mark Cassie, who trains this one. Last time out, ran at Goldstream Park on a wet fast going. Seven thrones, September the third, and the Florida Stallions Jewel Princess Stakes. Horse from second by neck. He set the pace early on and then just got uh, you know, weakened towards the end. The the winner, Art Kinsley's doll, who beat this horse two starts in a row, is running back into this race today. This horse just weakened the final few. Start four, six frongs at Goldstream Park, August the sixth, in the uh, Florida Stallion series race. Horse finished six by five and a half lengths, had nothing that day, did not go with the leaders like he normally did. It was a disappointing run as a favorite. And then Goldstream Park, some furlongs in the Azalea Stakes. Horse finished third by six three quarter length. Set the pace early on, then weakened. I think this horse will have a great run here today. You know, last year he ran in the Florida Stallion Stakes uh, a mile 16th last October as a two year old. This horse finished sixth. They figured out this horse is not a router. He's coming to a mile today. He's running his longest distance since then, going to one turn mile, which I think is perfect. If this horse could hold off his, his speed or her speed, I think she should win here today. Trying by Mark Casse. I'm going to try and go with this horse as a top selection. So to recap my bets for race number two from Goldstream Park, going to go with the four horse. Going to go four, five, three, two, four, five, three, two. Um, we're going to have a wet course here uh, tomorrow at Goldstream Park. It's been pouring like anything at Goldstream, all up and down the East Coast uh, here in America, but um, you can have a wet course, so hopefully this third race gets uh, stays on the turf, it is closing day from Goldstream Park, they move over to Calder on Wednesday, I believe, but uh, hopefully they'll stay on this turf, this third race is the third running the Armed Forces Stakes, per $75,000 for two-year-olds, field of eight horses, traveling a mile on the turf course, they'll you be using the outer portion, out of 108 feet, the rail will be out, a mile, Top selection here. We'll go to the four horse. If we get the page to load, number four, who is Sonic Mule, going to go four eight five two four eight five two. Number four, Z Sonic Mule, a five two. Edgar Zayas again for Todd Toucher sending this one in from up north. Last time out, run at Monmouth Park, one mile September the fourth in the Sapling. Of course, finished third by three and a half lengths that day. You know, he was up near the leaders, but then weakened towards the end of the race uh, on that fast going. You know, he's trying turf for the first time, hopefully. I think that should be something uh, I would like to see this horse run on. He's owned by Calumet Farbs, so keep that in mind. I really like their horses. Start before it came to Saratoga, and the Saratoga special. This horse finished fourth by 18 three quarter lengths, and should have fit, uh, and that got disqualified, the second place horse. Uh, and they placed this horse um, third that day because of the disqualification of the second place horse, who uh, this horse got bumped at the half mile ball and basically took all chances out. That's why this horse finished fourth by that many lengths. Um, you know, it was just a disappointing run with that interference. And then this horse broke his maiden at five and a half rounds at Monmouth, won by a three and a quarter lengths. Easy victory. First time turf. I think this horse should run well here today, so I'm going to use this one. So to recap my bets for race number three from Goldstream Park, the Armed Forces Stakes. I'm going to go with the four horse here. I'm going to go four, eight, five, two, four, eight, five, two. So now let's get on to race number five. Skipping over race number four to race number five. Fifth race is the third running of the Mr. Steel Stakes per $75,000 for three-year-olds and upwards. Field of ten horses. The nine horse is a main track only, traveling a mile on the turf course. Like I said, they only use the outside portion of the turf course for the summer meet. A mile. And my top selection here will go to the seven horse Number seven, Savoy Stomp. Esger Zayas again. Holy crap, I have him a lot of times. Didn't even notice that. Seven, I'm going to go seven, six, eight, three. Seven, six, eight, three. Number seven, Savoy Stomp. Five to one, Esger Zayas. For Todd Fletcher again, I'm Medallia Diora, one of my favorite horses, by the way. Last time out, we're in a Saratoga, a mile, an optional 80 claimer. Horse finished seven by two and a half lengths that day. You know, it was a little bit wide at the turns. Just had nothing in the stretch. It was a, it was just a disappointing run first start on turf. 
turf. Um, you know, second on turf, I think, should be maybe an improvement. Um, last time out, ran, uh, start, two starts ago, ran in the, the uh, um, uh, stakes race for 50,000 at Delaware Park, mile 16, July 16th. We're finished second by one quarter lengths, which y'all are sorry up that day. You know, he, he was closing really well. His horse is your stereotypical closer, so I think that's why he should do well on turf. You know, if he doesn't run, if this race gets taken off the turf and run on the main track, I think he has a really strong chance. He's not going to be 5-1. to one. You know, he, he uh, ran in skip away earlier this year. Year finished fourth that day, but won a Gulfstream Park main track allowance race. He's back down here in southern uh, Southern Florida again. I think this horse should run good here on the turf course. Going to use this horse as the top selection. He's only won three times out of his 13 starts, so just keep that in mind. So to recap my bets for race number five from Gulfstream, recap my bets for race five from Gulfstream Park. Uh, Going to go with the. Uh, seven horse Savoy Stomp. Gonna go seven six eight three seven six eight three here in the fifth. So now let's get on to race number six. Sixth race is the second running of the Florida Sire S Foolish Pleasure Stakes. Hundred fifty thousand dollars to go for for Colts and Geldings three year olds Florida Sire breads. Eight horses traveling the distance of ground of a mile. One mile they're traveling. And my top selection here will go to. Uh, here in race six, top selection will go to the seven horse, number seven, Awesome Banner. Going to go seven four eight six seven four eight six number seven, Awesome Banner, eight to five, Tyler Gaffleone, uh from Arcasse last time out. Ran at Gulfstream Park, seven furlongs in the in a Florida Stallion Series race, stakes race for $150,000. This horse won by neck, closing up very well. A little bit wide, but really, it was a closing victory, which is very nice. Start before six furlongs and won those Florida Sire Stakes race here at Gulfstream Park. He finished second by two and a quarter lengths that day. You know, was on the rail. He was stalking the lead, dueling, actually, but then just weakened off. I think the mile distance is perfect for this horse. He's running, um, he's never run a one-term mile. But he's run a mile 16th. He, um, he ran a mile 16th in the uh, Tampa Bay Derby. He finished 8th that day. Uh, he finished 5th in the Fountain of Youth. But if you go back to earlier this year, this horse won the Swale and won the Hutchinson, both races in impressive uh, form. Um, you know, got the trainer switch over from Stanley Gold to Mark Hasse, uh in the early June portion of this year. Um, since then, this horse has been running decently. I'm going to use this horse top selection, 8-5, to five, no value, but he looks like hard to be, it looks so hard to be here. So to recap my bets, race number 6 from Gulfstream Park, going to go with the 7 horse Awesome Banner. Going to go 7-4-8-6, seven, 7-4-8-6 six, seven, in race number 6. So now let's get on to race number 7. The seventh race is the Our Dear Peggy Stakes per seventy-five thousand dollars for Phillies two-year-olds. Field of ten two-year-old Phillies traveling a mile here. Like I said before, they're only using the inner portion of the turf course traveling a mile. And my top selection here, here in race seven, will go to the three-horse. Number three, Bahama Halo, two to one. Escar Zayas for Todd Fletcher. I think it's the fourth time I have fourth time I have him today. Um, like I said, three five. Three five four six here in the Superfecta. Uh, number three, Bahama Halo, two to one. Eric Garcia's top Fletcher. Adam more than ready. Last time out, we're in Saratoga, mile sixteenth in the PG Johnson Stakes. Uh, this horse finished fifth by four and a half lengths that day. It was wide and had no trip. It, it, you know, had no rallying trip. Uh, it just was a disappointing run. Uh, first time around two turns. I think the second time around two turns should really do well. The second time off the layoff should really do with this horse. Um, start before came June the 22nd at uh, Belmont Park. Six furlongs main special weight for $75,000. Horse won by five and three quarter length sprinting. Um, you know, had a very uh, nice victory, but this horse was a little bit green in the stretch. Uh, it was a weird race for this horse's victory, but, uh, you know, he did get the win. Uh, I think this horse, you know, is stereotypical two year olds is a little, you know, antsy and kind of, uh, like they say, a horse has like a. Like a who's, I can't remember who said that, but. Um, they said, so, like, two-year-old horses almost have, like, ADD or ADHD, whatever they call that thing. Um, you know, they always have to look around at their surroundings because it's a new thing to them, racing. So uh, you could, uh, I kind of understand that the, that horse had, um, you know, attention problems that day. Um, but I think this horse should run well here. Two to one, second off the layoff, second on around two turns. So to recap my bets, race number seven from Gulfstream Parks, the Our Dear Peggy Stakes. Gonna go with the three horse. Gonna go with a Superfecta of three, five, four, six, three, five, four, six. So now we're gonna skip over to race number 10. The 10th race from Gulfstream Park is the 35th running of the Florida Sire, uh, the Florida Sire Stakes, My Dear Girl Stakes. First five hundred thousand dollars for Phillies two year olds. Uh, we have a field of thirteen horses traveling a mile and a sixteenth on the Gulfstream Park main track. 
mile 16th. And my top selection here will go to the 10 horse, number 10, U.S. Diva, uh, 101382 is my superfecta, 101382, number 10, U.S. Diva, H1, um, with Rios in the saddle, last time out, Rennick, Goldstream Park, Sun Frong, September 3rd in the Florida Stallion Stakes here at Goldstream Park, source finished third by eight and three quarter lengths, the first two uh, horses are coming back into this one as few, as also, as a few other ones from that race, this horse was a little bit wide and really couldn't take it over, I think the two turns for this horse should really be up this horse's alley, um, start before it came to Florida Stallion Stakes at uh, Goldstream Park, Six Frongs, August the 6th. Horse finished third by one and a half lengths. Again, he was closing really well. Like I said, the two, this horse is two-turn material. You will really like it. The only thing that's bad about this horse is the post position. He's breaking from post position number 10, going a mile 16th with that close run to the turn. You know, I'd rather see this horse break from the inside, as everybody will, will especially going a mile 16th, but you don't get it here. If this horse could get, save some ground going to that first turn, I think this horse should have a monster race, um, or at least save some ground going down the back stretch. I think that's key also. And then maybe swing wide at the top of the stretch, because there is a short stretch also of about a, a furlong. Um, but I think this horse will run well here. 8 to 1, going to take my chances. So to recap my bets, race number 10 from Goldstream Park. Going to go with the 10 horse. Going to do a super factor. Going to go 10, 13, 8, 2. Thir 10, 13, 8, 2. Sorry if I feel like I'm. Uh, sorry if I seem like I'm rushing. I am quite a bit because I have, uh, uh, you know, it's a lot of races, sorry. The 11th race now from Goldstream Park is the third running the Panama City Stakes. Per $75,000 for Phillies Mayors, three-olds, and upwards. Field of 13 horses. The 13 horses and all, uh, is a main track only, uh, so we'll only have 12 run if it's on the turf, uh, traveling a mile here. A mile. And my top selection here will go to the nine horse. And number nine, Darling Kathy. Uh, gonna go 9243, 9243. Number nine, Darling Kathy, 4 to 1, Tyler Gaffleone. Last time out, run at Gulfstream Park, mile 16, September 3rd, and the Wasted Tear Stakes. Finished fifth by one and a quarter lengths at 90 cents a dollar. You know, he's talking to a pace that day and really couldn't have a good closing kick. Uh, just horses just didn't fire that day. Uh, a lot of the horses are coming back to run in this race today that ran in the last one. Um, start before in the, in the Sour or Softy Stakes at Goldstream Park Mall, August the 6th. Horse won by five and a quarter lengths on the lead throwout. A very easy victory, setting the pace. And uh, uh, and then start before came into turf, sprint stakes, Goldstream Park, five rounds and the summit of speed. He finished second by neck, uh, basically second all throughout. You know, he was dueling and just couldn't get to the winner, Dr. Jubb. Um, I think the mile distance today should really be up this horse's alley. Uh, you know, maybe if this horse could set some decent uh, and slow fractions on the lead, I think this horse could win. So I'm going to take this horse's uh, as a top selection. So to recap my bets for race number 11 from Goldstream Park, go with the 9 horse. I'm going to go 9 2 4 3, 9 2 4 3. So now let's get on to race number 12, the final race I'll be looking at on today's program. It's the Florida Sire in Reality Stakes. Uh, purse $500,000 for Colts and Geldens, two year olds. Fields 12 horses traveling a mile and a 16th over the Goldstream Park surface. Mile 16th. And my top selection here is a horse that I would probably single if you're playing the Rainbow Six with that mandatory payout. Number two, three rules. Going to go 2, 4, 11, 13. 2, 4, 11, 13. Number two, three rules. 3 to 5. Cornelio Velasquez on this one. Last time out, run at Goldstream Park. 7 eighths of a mile, September 3rd, and a Florida Stallion affirmed stakes. Horse won by five and a half lengths. Uh, stalking or leading all throughout was a draw of victory at 20 cents to the dollar. You know, it was just easy. Start before in the Florida Stallion series stakes. Goldstream Park, six phone exhausts. Uh, six course won by seven legs a very impressive victory you know he's he's uh unbeaten he won all his races impressively he's won on the slop you know he he's going around two turns for the first time which i don't think should be a problem he gets a good post position the smile 16th races at goldstream park tend to be more towards speedy kind of horses so i'm going to go with this horse here um as a top selection so to recap my bets for race number 12 the big one here from goldstream park here on the saturday closing afternoon of the summer uh meet i'm gonna go with the um two horse three rules here in the florida sire in reality stakes uh I'm gonna go two four eleven three two four eleven three so good luck to all and follow me on twitter at horse racing kid five good luck everybody